So we have to monitor the planet's resources. We have to begin to construct a system of production and distribution that is not based on the whims of profit. It's based on what is the most efficient means to do that. There are resources all over the planet, obviously. We have to begin to understand what we have. And we have to use science and technology to begin to orient our use of these resources in the most efficient way possible. And that's why we advocate the uh, systems approach that we do. So when you're born on this planet, you inherit the planet. The planet is your home, not some plot of land that is, uh, has the illusion of, of property, not some house that you think you own. There's no such thing as ownership. The idea of ownership is controlled restriction. Ownership is simply there really for those at the top to make sure no one can interfere with the fact that they control mostly everything. If you motivated our resources right now to change the face of the earth, to create a resource-based economy, we could do it very, very quickly. The problem is, again, the established orthodoxies and self-preserving mechanisms that are in place, which will be our death. The free market is what will kill everything on this planet. It's not the free market, it's actually the monetary system. Monetary acquisition and exchange through labor for income and the motivation of profit will be what destroys humanity because all it does is pull everything in the direction of those that have the most power. Right now, we are faced with an ecological collapse, an energy collapse specifically. We're faced with an economic collapse, which is very much tied into the energy collapse. Uh, we're faced with a labor collapse, which of course is very much tied to the economic collapse. The breakdown of society is occurring. People say, well, we're going to have a recovery of the economy. The most dangerous thing that we can have right now is a recovery of the U.S. economy. The real sad thing is, is that humanity is going to have to be smacked around quite a bit before they really understand what the Zeitgeist Movement, a resource-based economy, and the Venus Project, Jacques Fresco, is talking about. I don't want to see humanity suffer. I don't want to see the population start to shrink because of our lack of energy and food. I don't want to see these things happen. But I know, sadly, that a good portion of it is going to happen until people start to wake up and recognize a new paradigm that's on the horizon that we must drive forward to as fast as humanly possible. We are driven by biosocial pressures, meaning that it takes problems for us to wake up and want to change things. I think World War III could be very, very possible, and this war will be for real. This will not be a contrivance war like World War I and World War II based on geopolitical realigning and various resource grabs. This will be a war for survival of different countries. And I hope that doesn't happen. I sincerely hope all of these things I talk about are erroneous and false, but all you have to do is look at the trends. So when you're born on this planet, you inherit the planet. The planet is your home.